Good morning, friends. Hey, hey, how are you guys doing today? Today is Thursday, right? Today's Thursday. Yeah, today's Thursday. And I actually have my um, uh, brain scan to do today. So the doctor said he's going to do two different type of tests. One is an MRI and one is some type of a brain wave of some sort. So they called to do this brain wave thing, but they haven't scheduled to do an MRI. So maybe I'm just confused and maybe this is just the MRI and maybe this is it. Um, nonetheless, if this is the MRI, I'm praying that I can actually get through it because I, there I don't like those. I had one done a hundred years ago <laughs> when I was in high school and I was in a car accident and um, I was sitting in the passenger side and we got hit broadside and it flipped my car. It flipped the car over that I was in and um, it knocked me out. And of course, you know, you know, obviously they took me to the ER and wanted to make sure that everything was okay internally and everything was. But um, I, um, I'm not exactly fond of these. And the one that I had to do back in the day, um, I like I freaked out. Like I spazzed out. So if you guys have ever had an MRI done, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, yes. Did you guys ever have one? Have you guys made it through it? Did you guys freak out? What did you guys do? Like um, Brian had one done, I think when he had a shoulder issue several years ago and like the first one he did was like a no bueno like no good no bueno he couldn't do it and then um and then the second one he's like okay i just gotta like do it i just gotta get it done and over with so he did it but he's like uh, -uh. so today like when i was leaving i'm like okay well i'm i'm headed out he's like just try to get through it i'm like yeah and i know it's like for a reason i know i have to have it done for a reason but I'm just not looking forward to it at all because they're scary and they're not fun and they just freak me out and they don't hurt. It's just that you're in this tube and it's freaking me out. I don't know. Weird. But nonetheless. So yeah, that's where I am headed today. And then, um, then Brian and I, Brian has a haircut tonight at four o'clock and then we are going to go, um, to dinner tonight at, I think Kona grill so i think i'll take you guys along with us today for that and uh that'll be it for today's video all of that for today i mean i think what i'm gonna do too when i get home is um i'm gonna get my easter stuff out and at least do the tiered tray um and use my little bunnies that i got a couple weeks ago so i'm gonna use those and it, like i said just at least get the tiered tray done if I don't get anything else done, I'm perfectly fine with that. I just want to get the tiered tray done. So that's something that I'll be working on today, focusing on main focus today. So yeah, so let's uh, go to the doctor and let's see, let's see what this um, this scan is all about. See if this is the MRI or see if this is just a different type. Of, I wouldn't. I don't know what other kind of brain scan that they would do other than an MRI. I have no idea. All right, but let's go. Let's go figure it out and see. Okay, so it's not an MRI and it's not a tube that I have to go in. How many? How many wires are hooked to me? Twenty-three. Twenty-three on your head and two on your chest. So two on my chest and twenty-three on my head. So yeah, wow. And he said, "Oh, you came in here with pretty hair. <laughs> Did they not tell you they were gonna mess it up? Oh well, my hair's all messed up. But here we go. Twenty minutes. Are we ready?" Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty, all done. Easier than I thought. Okay, and I didn't mess up my hair too awfully bad. I think he was, I think he did a good job trying to keep it as not messy as possible. But he did have to put like glue adhesive in on my head to keep those little things down. So I'll probably have like knots or something in my hair, but. Oh well, he was so nice, Josh. And he said he's gonna follow me. So if he, if he's watching, hi Josh, you did a good job. Thank you so much. Now I'm gonna go get a Starbucks and head home because I deserve it. Now they'll probably want me to do an MRI. Dang it! I was hoping to avoid an MRI. Oof. But he said I could do it. I was on that road less traveled in Maui 
which is the road to hell. He said, what, you know, he agreed was like the road to hell. And uh, he said, you can do it. So, super nice guy. All right, let's go get a Starbucks. All righty, so I was gonna go to Starbucks, but um, the line, uh, stupid crazy, and inside was actually even busy too. So the parking lot was completely full, and I'm like, it's 11 o'clock, people. Why do you want a Starbucks at 11 o'clock? <laughs> I don't know, why do I want one at 11 o'clock? <laughs> Uh, anyway, all right, so um, we decided we're just, I'm gonna go to Firehouse Subs and get us subs, and uh, they have gluten-free bread, so I know that I'm safe with that. So off to Firehouse Subs I go. morning friends and happy Friday um, finally waking up at my normal hour at like 6 15 ish or so which is so nice because I've like this whole week Brian and I have been sleeping in seriously past 7 and he's like oh my god I'm gonna be late for work <laughs> And literally, he's not going to be late for work. Um, but yeah, he feels he's going to be late for work because he's not in his office by 7. So I always find that to be so funny. Like, you're going to be late. You're going to eat a tardy. 
Um, but anyway, hey, Friday. Welcome to the weekend, guys. We all made it. Um, so this morning I went to the grocery store and um, picked up just a few things that I needed at the house. Um, mainly, I did not get to have corned beef and cabbage for St. Patrick's Day. And I love corned beef and cabbage. So I went to the store this morning and got all the things to make a corned beef and cabbage. So that is currently in the crock pot now. I have the um, I have YouTube on, I'm watching Jessica Braun and I'm cleaning up the kitchen. So we're gonna go ahead and get today started. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a kind of a fun Friday weekend or Friday vlog. And I want you guys to hang out with me. So let's go clean up that kitchen. before and I shared it with you guys. I saw it on TikTok and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. So I tried it and I absolutely fell in love with it. It is like the, it's the healthiest snack probably you could have. Um, you just need some, oh, that sour cream, that sour cream. Dang it, I bet you I don't have any cottage cheese. Hold on. Okay, so I have cottage cheese. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you need cottage cheese, you'll need a red pepper, and you'll need some of the everything but the bagel seasoning. And basically what you do is you just chop up the pepper um, and I already rinsed these off. I rinsed these off the other day when I brought them home. Um, so anyway, uh, you just do your little red pepper, cut it, and then I just kind of cut all these little things off so it still kind of just makes like a little, like a little bowl in like the pepper. So you can have like a little bowl. And um, you just add the cottage cheese to the little bowl part of this and then you add the everything but the bagel on it. So I'll show you guys. And I added like a little bit of salt and pepper to it as well, just to have a little bit more flavor, but oh. So good. Like best little snack you could have. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I know that I'm a little like late to the game and I'll probably get this stuff sent off on Monday, but I'm actually putting together like a little Easter basket box for my kiddos. And I'm sending them each a little something. Obviously, it's for them to share with their spouses and girlfriends. But I'm just going to put some of this stuff in there. But I got to get boxes first. And um, I got them each a card. And I'll probably put like 50 bucks in each one of them. And then Reese's and then just some candy. But I'm also going to do some jelly beans and some green grass. So next time I go to the store, I'll just pick that stuff up. Which I'll probably go to the store tomorrow and get the rest of the stuff and that way i can have it all mailed off by monday and then i'll get the boxes at walmart as well but i just wanted to show you guys all of the little things that i'm putting in their little easter box easter basket box hello and good morning friends happy saturday today is parker's birthday party her fourth birthday party and i am about ready to head out. I have to actually run into Walmart really quick to pick up some mailing boxes so I can get my stuff mailed off to my kids on Monday. But I just really quickly want to show you guys my outfit. I am loving this shirt and I don't remember where I got it. I just ordered it on, on an online boutique. I'll have to look, but it's super, super darn cute. And I was going to wear it with like some shorts because it's, you know, summery outside, 73 degrees. It's supposed to be like a 76 today. I just thought it's super cute with shorts but I'm like my legs are not tan <laughs> and not that it matters but I just tan legs just look so much better with cellulite <laughs> and I have some like cellulite going on here on my my 50 year old legs um but I don't know what do you guys think I think it's cute and if I wear it with sandals I think it'll be even like cuter and I was gonna put on some pants um let me see what those look like Okay, I think these look really, really cute too. Like if it was chillier outside maybe. And then even like with my black, or excuse me, with my hot pink like vest or jacket, that would look really cute. But I think I might just go ahead and wear it with the shorts. And I might even pull out my hot pink like jacket to wear with the shorts. I think that's a, a cute little look too. But I think this is fun for like, you know, maybe going out to dinner, business casual type of thing. Really, really cute. Really cute outfit. These are super cute. And I think, where did I order these? I think these are from, these are from Chic Soul. I do know that, but I can't remember the name of this company. I have it in the kitchen and I'll show you guys in just a few minutes. But yeah, this is cute too. And I think, like I said, with the pink jacket, that would look super, super cute. But I think I'll put the shorts back on. I'm just going to tough it out with the white legs and cellulite and maybe put a jacket on with it. Let's see. All right, so the shirt is from Rolling Ranch Boutique and you guys can go on there and follow that if you want to and go check it out. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. So and you can actually download their app, it looks like too. Yeah. Um, anyway, so this is what it looks like with a jacket. Let's see. Um, very like cute business casual 
absolutely love this like look. It's really, really fun. Um, obviously, if you get hot, you can take it off. So I'm thinking I might wear like my black sandals with this. This is really cute. Yeah, I'm, I am digging, oh, sorry, I got dark. I am digging this. This is really, really cute. So yeah, wow. I really like that look. And I think even with like black slacks would be cute. Um, you could actually wear it with a tan jacket or even a black jacket would be cute too. But because it's like springy, I think I'll do, I'll think I'll do this one. But ooh, yeah, super cute. What do you guys think? Let me know. So we're at Parker's party and they have like a little surfboard that is so cute. And then of course like a little bounce house. All right, Lucas, have fun little man. She has a Barbie cake and she's, cause she's turning four, she's really into Barbies right now. So how cute is that? This place is so cute. They've got like a cute little house there with a slide and all the little bouncy things. That's really cute for kids, really cute. Can you get in there, Hannah? <laughs> back her in, back her in. I'm nervous. I know. That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> That's all you got. You got too much junk in the trunk. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> Are you chasing your friend, Denver? <laughs> Woo! Go, girl, go, girl. Woohoo! Go, girl. I see you. <laughs> Look at all the little kids. It's a birthday party. With a birthday party. I have to hear it again. <laughs> Quirky. She's burning her hands. Yeah, just you should take a candle off and then do it. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Parker. Happy birthday to you. She's trying to do the. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that was. Oh, man. Retry, retry. You can do it. And go. And oh. go. I can't do it on the spot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying anyone. <laughs> I love that. I love you guys. Look at her digging that bag. Yeah. What did you get? Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. A new iPad? What? A new one? Wow. You don't need to open it though because we don't have your case here. I was going to show her. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's pink. Oh, wow. it's pink. Oh, Auntie Lala loves that. Yeah. We'll, we'll open it up and set it up when we have your case. Before you hit. Oh my goodness. Here. That is so cute. So when you go to Auntie Hands, you can have a sleepover bag. Mm -hmm. One more part, my darling. That's from Auntie La. Oh, ouch. 
That was a lot of fun and with that I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me the past couple of days if you guys did huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the